All right, so today I'm gonna to be putting a Yamaha Warrior Carp on my Wolverine here. Um, there's a couple reasons why you might wanna do this. Uh, the main reason being that it's just gonna make the quad faster. Um, and that's for a couple of reasons. One, the Wolverine Carb that's on here now has a vacuum actuated slide and the Warrior Carb has a throttle cable actuated slide. So it's like mechanical, I'll show you here. Um, this is the carb I'm gonna be putting in it. It's a Goo Fit carburetor. I got it off of Amazon and I'm just cleaning it all out now. I had this left over from my other Yamaha Warrior and I wound up putting the original carb back on that after I cleaned it. But this carb is still good. Um, so I'm gonna be installing this one. I just have to clean it all out, which I just did. Um, and you can see here, this is the slide in there, and when I pull on this plate here, which would be actuated by the throttle cable, the slide goes up. Unlike on the Wolverine, see here's a carb body for the Wolverine, but on the Wolverine here, what happens is this little channel here, as more air is forced through that, and it would get forced in here too, it would come up into this upper area here, which there would be a diaphragm that would inflate due to the air going into it, and that would lift up a slide that would be right inside of there, which it's not in there now because this is all taken apart, but that's another story. So that's essentially the main difference. And then the other thing is between these two carbs, you can see this one has this little nozzle right there and this one doesn't. And what that does is this is an accelerator pump. So right when you step on the throttle, on the fuel bowl for this one, there's this guy right here, which since this is an aftermarket one, it looks a little bit different. Uh, most of them just have a plunger you can take out. This one's not removable. Um, but essentially what this does is when, when this is installed on the, on the carburetor here, when you step on the throttle, that black, black piece right there is going to push on that pin and that's a pump that will pump fuel from right inside of there out this little hole there and go out right through there. So it squirts a little bit of fuel in right when you step on the gas, which helps your acceleration a lot. So with the cable actuated slide and the accelerator pump there, that's where you get your more uh, power from. And there's also, these Warrior carbs are also a little bit bigger. The uh, opening here is just slightly larger on these carbs, which allows you to get a bit more performance. Now, the reason why these carbs work on these engines is because the whole top end, all these parts are the same exact parts as the Warrior. Now I have a Yamaha Warrior and I can tell you for sure, these parts are interchangeable. Aside from this cover here, which has a vent coming out, everything's the same. Piston, uh, bore, this thing, like everything on there is exactly the same. The only main difference is this carburetor here. Now, in order to swap a Warrior carburetor into the Wolverine, what you're gonna have to do is buy an intake boot right here because this one has a hose clamp design, whereas the Warrior has a design where it kind of just bolts right up. Now, I was watching other videos on YouTube and this guy was telling me that the uh, throttle cable is different and this uh, tube here is different, but I did some measurements on these carburetors and I don't see why those shouldn't be interchangeable with the Warrior carb. So I'm gonna try and install it with just the new intake boot here and I'll let you guys know how that turns out. All right, so I got everything kind of mocked up in there. Um, I didn't in, like, really tighten anything down or attach the throttle cable cable or anything, but I just wanted to make sure it would fit. And it looks like it all fits in there perfectly. I'm not sure what the other guy was talking about. My guess is that this uh, boot here was upside down on his because I accidentally did that at first because this aluminum one doesn't have an arrow like the original one. Uh, but if you put that upside down like I just did before, uh, the carb will kind of be slanted a little bit. Sorry, this is in the way. The carb will be slanted a little bit and this uh, this intake boot right there won't uh, line up at all. But I didn't put any spacers on the air box or anything and that lines up perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, um, make sure I tighten down that uh, aluminum boot there and attach the throttle cable um, and everything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so the throttle cable did not fit perfectly, but in order to avoid buying a new one, what I did was I just took a die and ran it down that little uh, stub there um, as far as I could get it and then cut the excess off at the end and now I'm able to have enough adjustment to where the throttle cable fits fine So I just have to go and install that and bolt everything back up All right, so this thing is all installed Seems to run really good with it on See it right there 
Um, everything mounted up, throttle cable's good. So overall, the acceleration is definitely a lot better. I haven't tested the top speed yet, although I'm assuming it's definitely gonna be better because this, this carburetor is two millimeters bigger. So it should allow a lot more fuel and air to enter the engine. Uh, but overall, I would recommend doing it. These Chinese carbs can really be hit or miss. I would recommend getting the Goofit carburetor off of Amazon, which is what I'm running now. I have bought a Zoom Zoom carb before for the Warrior um, and tried to install it on my Warrior and it worked, but it didn't work for that long and I kept having issues with it. After I opened it up, it just really seemed cheap inside of there, whereas this Goofit carburetor is a lot more better quality inside of there and has lasted me a while on my Warrior and I'm assuming it's gonna last a while on this Wolverine here. So if you guys have any questions or are looking for a video on how to uh, service these carburetors, I have a video uh, on my YouTube channel which I'll link up above here. And uh, so yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.